Uh, yo, here's a technique um, known as spectral gating. You can do with a bunch of different techniques. We can basically use this to kind of isolate different harmonics and stuff. So we've got this bass here from the Glitch with Friends sample packs because they're nice. And we kind of want to isolate only the loudest harmonics. So there used to be a plugin called Spectral Gate. I don't know if I actually have it installed right now. Yeah, I do. And we can just use this here. Maybe pitch this up a bit. Just so we can hear it better. You can kind of hear how it only lets the loudest harmonics through. Same with this here. Um, we can also do this with something like M Transformer, and this is my my preferred way of doing it, just because it's a bit easier. So basically, we just get the level and kind of draw in the transfer function of like a gate. So basically, something like this here. Let's maybe add some some higher harmonics here first. <laughs> So we get this kind of interesting uh, spectrally stuff. We can also draw in some other stuff here, just kind of see where it gets us. It's like a wilder spectral transfer function. This is not just a gate anymore. So yeah, pretty cool, especially if you then drive this into an OTT to kind of get some highs back. Um, You can also do this with Something like, um, we have this loud split here in Bitwig, so we can just isolate the louds and this is exactly the same spectral gate. Tilted. Yeah, just kind of a classic way to make something sound spectral by only letting the loudest harmonics through. That that first plugin spectral gate, that's free if you're like in another door or something and don't have M Transformer. Um, it's by this guy called Andrew Rehmann. Yeah, you can find this if you Google it. Leather, Spectral Gate, Spectral Suit. I'm sure someone said, made a video on these. So yeah, um, Spectral Gating, pretty nice way to get warbly, weird digital sounds. <laughs> 